Hey, what's up guys, it's Roy here. So today I have the Google Pixel 7a here and next to it is the Spigen Ultra Hybrid case in the matte black color. This case is gonna run you $16.99 on Amazon with Prime Shipping. So if you're interested in buying this case after watching this video, go down in the description. I will have some links down there if you wanna scoop this up. And of course you can check out their other colors as well. So looking at the case itself, I have been using this case as my daily driver since I got the 7A a couple of days ago. And I really, really, really like this case. I've always been a fan of the ultra hybrid case, especially the matte black one. So that way you can show off the back of the phone, but still have a black border if you want. Now with the interior, you are getting their air cushion technology inside of the bumpers. So basically that's little tiny airbags inside the corners here that's gonna help dissipate the energy away if you decide to throw your phone down on the ground or accidentally drop it, but it should help protect your $500 investment. So let's go ahead and grab my charcoal Pixel 7a here and let's just slap it in here. And uh, that is all she wrote and there it is. So there is gonna be some uh, little specks of fuzz and dust. Like I said, uh, I have been using this a lot as my daily driver, but what I really like about this is like I said, this clear back where you are able to see what's going on. So unfortunately with like the lighting and everything here, it's kind of reflecting off, which I don't like when you're doing clear case reviews, but you can see the color very nicely. And if you had a skin on the phone, then you could definitely see that skin. And using a skin kind of helps as well with uh, kind of the fingerprints because smudging and fingerprints can be an issue sometimes with this case, but nothing that a quick wipe down can't fix. I do like the uh, camera bump as well, the way that they have it here. Since the 7A's visor is so small, you can see that there's really no sticking out hardly at all, but the lenses are recessed in nicely. So you are getting some good lens protection, but I think it looks really, really good up against this where you can see that dual lens there, the flash, I just look, I just think it looks very nice with this. Now, the only thing I wish it wouldn't have done is do the solid matte black top up here. I would have liked to have seen possibly a clear portion up here. So if you did use a skin and wanted to kind of do like a panda kind of a pixel look or stormtrooper look. You could have done like a black and a white or something like that, but that's just me nitpicking a little bit. With the sides and everything here, it is a matte finish. Um, so it's a matte black, but it is a little smooth. It's not, ha it doesn't have like any texturized grip or anything, but with it being this matte finish, it doesn't feel slippery at all. We do have our volume up and down and power buttons here. And if you can see, we do have some teeth with the power button and then the volume up and down button is right there. We'll see how clicky those are in just a second. Down at the bottom corner, we do have some lanyard hole cutouts there. So if you like to rock a lanyard, then you're in luck. Looking at the bottom here, you can see that we have a nice cutout there for the USB-C charging port and our speakers. And then here on this side, we do have our Spigen branding, very minimal, but then nothing else going on, just matte black sides and then go into the top, matte black finish with a little circular cut out there for the speaker up top. But as you can see, very flat guys, very, very flat. So when we do the wobble test, we'll see how this performs. So looking at the front, we have complete even borders around the sides and the forehead and chin. So with it being a flat screen, we are definitely getting some good screen protection with this. Now I don't have a tempered glass screen protector installed yet, but I do know for a fact that it will work just fine. Uh, and that's kind of the look looking at it from the top down there. So not super, super thick borders. It's not a very chunky case by any means, but that's just kind of the look there. And then there's the look a little bit closer of the cutout where the uh, cutout is for the speaker up top. So just a little bit closer look there for you. So now let's go ahead and do the wobble test. So let's go ahead and put it face down, do some shaking here and there is no shaking going on. And if we do back down, it's kind of the same thing. I mean, there's a little bit of a shake right here, but it is so tiny that I wouldn't even consider that really a big shake or anything. So very flat guys. So if you like flat cases that don't shake all over the place, then the ultra hybrid has you covered. 
Next, let's go ahead and do the clicky button test. So this is one of my favorite tests to do, especially I think a lot of people that watch my videos enjoy these because you wanna know if the buttons are tactile and responsive. So let's go ahead and check that out. So let's do the power button first. So if you heard that, these are very, very clicky buttons. Uh, so hopefully my shotgun might pick those up. But at the end of the day, very tactile, very responsive button. So a big, big thumbs up for the clicky button test. And then last but not least, let's check out the Qi wireless charging capabilities. Now, unfortunately, I cannot find my Qi wireless charger I usually use. So I'm going to use this mouse MagSafe charger, which does second as a Qi wireless charger. So let's slap it on. And there we go. You see that you saw the animation there. So it is wirelessly charging without a doubt with this. So if it's gonna wirelessly charge with this little hockey puck here, it's definitely gonna charge with a wireless charging pad or anything bigger for that matter. And you are also able to do the contactless payments with ease. So if you do Google Pay or anything like that, then you are in luck. So there we have it guys. There is the Ultra Hybrid from Spigen. And I gotta say, it definitely is a good case. I have enjoyed using it over the last about two or three days that I've had it. So overall, I would definitely give this a really, really good recommendation for people that like clear cases, but like the black borders as well. So if you are someone that likes to rock a scan, then you're in luck. Like I said, the only downside with this case is since it is clear, is that you are going to see some fuzz and dust and stuff every now and then you're going to have to take the case off and kind of clean it inside and out and make sure you're using something that doesn't get fuzzies all over it um, you are going to have to wipe it down sometimes with your t-shirt so that way you get the you know smudges and the uh, fingerprints off but ultimately at the end of the day i like i said really 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 like this case so let me know down in the comments what do you think so hit that like button if you like this video if you loved it, please subscribe, ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe, God bless, we'll see you on the next one.